Today we are discussing the CCNA based interview questions and answers for Cisco Data Center Core Technologies DCCOR. You can download the complete list of CCNA based questions from the link provided in the description. Our interview question based on DCCOR is what is the purpose of fiber channel over Ethernet FCOE and how does it simplify data center architecture? Your answer should be FCOE enables the transmission of fiber channel traffic over Ethernet networks. This simplifies data center architecture by co converging storage and data networking onto a common Ethernet infrastructure, reducing the need for separate networks and associated hardware. Our next interview question is, how does virtual extensible LAN VXLAN enhance network scalability in a data center environment? Your answer should be, VXLAN is a layer 2 overlay technology that facilitates the creation of virtual networks on top of existing layer 3 networks. It enhances network scalability by allowing the creation of a large number of logical networks, each with its own isolated addressing space, providing flexibility in managing network resources. Our next interview question is, what are the benefits of deploying a Cisco application-centric infrastructure, ACI, in a data center? Your answer should be, ACI is a policy-driven automation solution that simplifies and accelerates application deployment in the data center. It provides benefits such as automated network provisioning, improved visibility into application performance, and enhanced security through micro-segmentation. Our next interview question is, explain the concept of network address translation, NAT, and its role in a data center network. Your answer should be NAT is used to modify network address information in packet headers while in transit. In a data center, NAT may be used for various purposes, including conserving public IP addresses, facilitating communication between different address realms and enhancing security by hiding internal network structures. Our next interview question is, how does Rapid Spanning Tree Protocol RSTP contribute to network redundancy and loop prevention in a Cisco data center environment? Your answer should be, RSTP is an enhancement of the spanning tree protocol STP that reduces convergence time in the event of network topology changes. It helps prevent loops and ensures network redundancy by quickly adapting to changes in the network, allowing for faster recovery. Our next interview question is, what is the purpose of Cisco Fabric Path? And how does it provide a scalable and loop-free topology in the data center? Your answer should be, Cisco Fabric Path is a layer 2 multipath routing protocol that provides a loop-free topology in a data center network. It allows for efficient use of network bandwidth, simplified network design, and improved scalability by enabling 
multiple equal cost paths. If you are preparing for any Cisco based certifications, you can download the complete list of valid, tried and tested questions and answers from the link provided below.